Hello, aid of AG Engineering again. Um, little task today. I've got a, a couple of Delorto carburettors here that are used for a, a lad that does a bit of carting. It's got a, a vacuum takeoff tube in this, this carburettor that runs a, a vacuum fuel pump. Um, simply what he wants is, is the same thing added to this carburettor. Which uh, which it's not normally fitted, so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do with that. One of the uh, little problems is trying to get this this angle correct along here on the other carburetor. So uh, we'll have a look at how we can do that uh, a little bit later on. But for now, I've I've measured that up. It's uh, it's a little under four millimeters. It's about four millimeters where it, it goes through the body. It steps down a little to, to ease its way in and uh, there's a little tail on there for a, for a hose to connect to so uh, we'll get set up in the uh, the small lathe in the garage um, little Chester 920 lathe and uh, we'll make that, that little part there for a start off. Here we are at the small lathe, we've got uh, a little piece of brass brass round, um, around about 9mm, so we'll, uh, we'll cut a little bit of this off and uh, hold it in the, uh, the collet chuck that's set up in the, the small lathe here. AR collets, very useful, hold the hold the work well or tooling on the mill and uh, the collet simply click into the the nut and then the nut screws onto the onto the chuck in the holder so that'll be, be set up ready yeah it'll be set up ready I'll go and cut a piece of this off to a rough length and uh, we'll be back Right, we've got our uh, that piece of brass in, we've got a, a tool in, a, a zero rake tool ground for brass set up in the tool post. Um, I just took a light facing cut to check we're on, on centre there. We'll get a, a length as best I can off the old part for uh, for how long we need the thinner part to be. It's around about 50 millimetres. I'll make it a little bit longer. Uh, it's quite difficult to measure the part without taking it out of the, the carburetor, which I obviously don't want to do. Um, chances are it would probably wreck it. So it's got to be a little bit of an educated guess as to what sort of lengths we need here. Um, we're looking at about 15 for the reduced portion, and probably about 5 for the part that goes through the carburetor body, which is which is about four millimetres and the reduced portion steps down to what we get in there 3.73 so uh, we'll put a couple of little lines on our work to give us a reference so if we go to 15 or thereabouts on that. Somewhere about there. Little bit of little bit of marker pen. And a little scratch. So that's a a wasted portion, a thinner portion. And we're on about 
20 millimeters for the part that goes through the carburetor body around about there somewhere yeah put a little scratch on there Eight point seven, we're on there. So we need to come down to three point seven three. So I'll make a note of it on a little pad on the side of me here, little little quick drawing. Start roughing some uh, some out. Whether you hear me over the, the noise of the lathe, I don't know. We've got a the lathe set up on a, a variable speed. Here it's got a, a three-phase motor on it and a, a variable frequency drive modification that I did to it. Again, something I can talk about in a later video. But it's made it a very useful uh, useful little lathe.
3.94 right we're down to size on the uh, the first step there I'm just made a start on the uh, the pot that will be inside the carburetor body that wants to be around four millimeters We'll have another measure. 5.2. We're getting closer. We'll just uh, check the micrometer on that part. 4.17. Right. 4.18. Take it a little bit close to form. 4mm will leave a little bit to allow for a, an interference fit. Four point zero nine. Well, that'll probably do. Just really check that again. Not ripped. Three point five six seven. Three point eight on there. Point one, that'll do it. Leave that at that. Five, six, seven, three point eight. That'll do. That's fine. Okay. I'll drill a hole up the centre now. Uh, I think that was about. Two and a half millimetres, so uh, I'll be back when I set up for that. I'm going to start off with a, a centre drill just to establish a, a start on the end there. Once 
swap over to a, a normal drill bit but the drill bit will be, uh, will be a blunt drill bit or a, a one with a, a slightly flatted off edge so it's not a sharp edge because we're doing brass. We need to go in here around uh, around the almost the full depth of the drill flutes, um, around sort of 25 mil or so deep. So uh, secret is to take it steady, um, clear the clear the chips regular, get back in the drill out, and then we'll uh, we, we should have have a good result. Cutting nicely, they're breaking nice. So this is a this is a previously used drill bit, but it's a small. You don't want to raise the sharp drill bit on brass. Okay, clear it, setting it back. I'll come back when we're a little bit further along. Through, um, see no okay, we're not getting too warm. So keep backing it out, clearing the uh, clearing the drill, drill drilling chips. end of the drill flutes here. That should have been sufficient to get this through to the, uh, the other side. position it, turn it round and uh, get ready for the other side, the other end of the material.